Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing the uh, Pico RGB to HDMI in two computers, one on, on a Commodore uh, 128 and on an Amiga A500. The idea is to show that each one of the computers can be displayed on the RGB to HDMI. I have here the uh, RGB to HDMI. Let me let me put it on front and you can see it here okay so as you can see here um, it's a simple board uh, hosting um, a Pico a Raspberry Pico RP2040 uh, the idea is that in the future it's going to be having a more powerful uh, processor but being compatible so you can have more resolutions and, and more um, uh, pixel depth for the colors but right now it's uh, it's able to render in 640 by 4080 or 800 by 600 or above but always using a capture of a 320 by 240 or a 640 by 240 uh, due to the limitation on the memory so right now what you're going to be seeing here is that the system let me put this on top is rendering what is on the uh, Commodore 128 here it's easier if I just move this on top so you, you are seeing here the 128 um, with a connector to the uh, 80 columns uh, uh, display output and is being able to uh, render render uh, the image so let's see so um, let's see how it how it goes uh, let's take this and this one video capture and let's run this so as you can see it's able to to render the the image on screen and uh, just running a simple a simple program as you know the 128 Commodore is R RGBI shows 16 colors uh, uh, TTL uh, signals so there is an adaptation and now what we are going to be doing we are going to be connecting the the, the Pico RGB to HDMI to, um, to the Commodore Amiga let's put it on top and let's go there disconnect from here take it here and connect it here let's see if it's difficult with just one hand there you go and let's put that display on top as you can see it's being able to render properly and now it's using 640 by 240 resolution just a, a eight color bits so uh, the colors are I would say accurate and uh, one of the things that are, is interesting from the device is that you can remote through USB so besides the usual so maybe you can let me Put it on top. Uh, display capture. Um, just a sec. Where is it? Um, let's put it here. This here. And let's put this here. And I will move this here if I just press the three buttons on the on the PCB the system will enable will enable the the USB support let's do let's see that so we need to show on screen 
um, the application. Let's put this here and uh, let's put let me see okay we put it uh, the image here so as you can see now it's connected so one of the things that we can do is move the image let's move it a, a little bit to the left so it's slowly moving to the left uh, I can move maybe 10 pixels to the left now it's easier to see okay and what we can do now is to capture the image so it will freeze just for a second and it will transmit the information to the screen so as you can see it's being able to to capture and you can then save that image <clears throat> on the on the computer and uh, just for the quick demo that that will be it thanks <laughs>